Okay, welcome back. Let's start this video by saying that I actually purchased this little blood warm fly. Somewhere along my travels, I think it was up in Maine, pretty sure, that I bought this at a local fly shop as I stopped by. Normally, uh, as we travel around a little bit, we like to stop by fly shops, and my wife likes to stop by quilt shops, and neither of us normally walk out empty handed. So I recall this uh, being something I seen that I thought was pretty cool. Nice little tie. Simple. Thought the hook might have been a little bit too big of a profile. But let me tell you, I fished this over the years. I bought uh, a couple dozen of these. I do believe they were cheap. Different sizes. And I've caught a lot of fish on these. Normally I fish them on uh, maybe a hopper on top. Then I'll have this as my second fly and suspended below that I'll have uh, maybe a heavier uh, beaded fly something for weight and I've caught some fish so let me show you the fly I'm going to tie some up because I'm actually running short on these and now I've got to tie up some of my own so here we go change the profile of the hook a little bit using a hopper terrestrial size 16 from Saber the thread I'm using is just a standard nylon round thread. This is an old thread from my father's collection. The color matches perfectly the material. I'm going to start the thread on right behind the eye of the hook. Wrap it backwards. Just cut away that tag end along the way. Take it back to a little beyond the bend of that hook. Material I'm using is something I picked up my last trip to the International Angler Fly Shop. It's Life Flex by Hairline. It's a leg and body material. It's blood warming color. They had different colors but I when I seen this I thought well that's, uh, that's what I was looking for to make these flies. I didn't have anything this color. I had uh, all kind of leg materials but not not this so now I do it was only three bucks so cut a strand out we're gonna start by tying in one end of it after let me spin that thread up like I normally like to show you to do there it makes the first thread wrap jump backwards easy to tie everything in just like that. Just give it a couple wraps. Now I'm going to take the material and I'm going to twist it several times to make it nice and tight. Pinch my fingers. Take it to the length, about the same size, same length of that as that body. Just about like that. Actually, let's do this again. Let's twist it up a little more. Put your hand right over top of that bend of that hook. Take your first thread wrap over that material and make it a pinch wrap. Pitch it right down on top. Take it down around the base a couple of times and now you're going to take that thread, you're going to wrap it up forward, covering up all the bare spots on the hook. Make sure I did, yeah pretty close. Now I'm going to take little butt end section cut it off nice and tight and with a little bit of an open turn we're gonna wrap this body material back up toward the eye of the fly 
don't have to be touching turns. I kind of left them open on purpose. Give it a little bit of a segmented look. Get a few wraps over top. Take your whip finish tool. Before you cut that off, give it a whip. One, two, three. Don't get that caught in there. Pull it tight. Now you can go ahead and cut it away there. I found if I cut it away before I whip it, it sometimes gets away from me. You don't want that happening. That's enough for another fly there. Save it. Cut away your thread. Now you got yourself a little blood warm. <clears throat> this fly that I bought was coated, which makes sense because one little nick on this portion ruins the whole fly. A little nick down here ain't going to hurt anything. If this comes apart, you'll just have like a forked tail, but I'm going to coat it with super glue. found that to be the best material. Sally Hansen's and Solar Res kind of flaked up on me a little bit. Super glue did not, so we're going to coat it with super glue. Just a nice tiny thin coat of the glue. on the body and that's all you need and there you go you got yourself a bud worm that I fished with a little bigger hook actually the scud hook I got them in smaller sizes too like when I bought these I bought a bunch of different sizes and they do catch fish which sometimes simple works a lot of times simple works in fly fishing so there you go Hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a like, give me a subscribe, tell your friends about me, or don't tell your friends about me. <laughs> I'm just having fun doing this. I'm glad you uh, stopped by to check it out. Cheers, and I'll see you next time.